I started this CNC plasma cutter project a long time ago. Never quite got it all working. So let's see if we can't fix that today. It's got an Arduino Uno with a CNC motor controller board on top. I've got a switch for my plasma cutter on off. It's also got a Bluetooth so I can remotely send files to it. Power supply on the bottom out of a standard computer and then I've got a lighter power supply that I use to run the Arduino board. I've got some NEMA 17 motors on it which are I think heavy enough to run this and then all the cables run into the back. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this thing hooked up and running today. I'm using this software called CNC Blue that I found on the Apple Store that works with my iPad. It also allows me to use the Bluetooth chip in the system to make the remote. With this remote I'm allowed to move everything X, Y. I'm not using a Z coordinate on this machine. At some point I may add one. Once I get everything configured I go ahead and work on the settings. I attach a pin to the machine so I can, can see what I'm doing and measure it and actually make sure I have everything set up correctly before I actually use the plasma cutter. Now that I have everything set up and working the way I want and an inch equals an inch, it's ready to start cutting. So I go ahead and replace the pin and put on the plasma torch head. This works really well. I'm able to cut out a sample, make sure everything's working good on this test piece of metal that I had. And I have to make sure everything's level because I don't have a z-axis so everything travels correctly. The machine is set up and working correctly. I have a few more tweaks to make on it. I need to adjust the head. It moves a little bit because the 3D printed piece I have is not quite tight enough tolerance. But everything else is working. So now I'm moving on to starting to cut out some project numbers that I'm going to use for the house address. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.